Hello, my arborist friends. This is a rope bridge. And if you're not an arborist, that is literally their belay loop. So they can rotate side to side. And we're gonna find out how strong. I got two brand new ones and I have some old ones that people sent me and we're gonna break test and see if there's a difference. Hi, I'm Ryan Jinks and welcome to my lab where we like to break test all sorts of things. Uh, some ways you're supposed to use them, some ways you're not. But uh, today we're just going to test this. I think the best way to do this is gonna take these quick links and because they have stopper knots, if you're not an arborist, there's a stopper knot that goes into these little tiny side rigging plates. Now Nick Markley sent me a used one and let's see here, Hunter Vincent also sent me a used one. So we're gonna find out uh, if they're going to break lower, I don't know if you guys if, put in the comments below, if arborists have ever had like these things break. Um, I think some of them have two for redundancy. Uh, that's something I would want to do when I go play on some trees. I'm going to try to do some more arborist videos for you guys, since you guys have been requesting it, but, um, and they look mostly dirty and sappy and gross, but we'll find out if they break lower. Warning, you could get cancer from this product. <laughs> As if that's the worst thing you're worried about when you're hanging in a tree. All right, we're going to start with the new ones. Okay, I put both quick links in one carabiner, and then it goes around that way. I know it's not exactly how it is on a harness, but it's uh, better than nothing. So it didn't pull through, but... That is, I think, either the cause or just where it's going to break. Around this bend up here, I don't think it's going to, to break up here. Like that's a, like doubly strong, right? So that's the core inside of these things. And I'm told it's Dyneema, but I'm not convinced. So it looks like we got 25.59 and it did uh, kind of a little wonky thing there at the end. So this is the machine we're using. We basically have a hydraulic back there. And I use these soft shackles because then when things go flying, it's softer. And then I have like a chain that I can connect the length I want. And then we got these two load cells that both look like this, one here, one there. And that's what gives us these awesome graphs. And I've got uh, redundancy for information. As far as this goes, I found a little bit smaller of a quick link. That way it doesn't um, either damage it as much or as quickly, or it's definitely not going to slip through. I don't have anything smaller or anything like a rigging plate that's going to have a hole that's the right side. <laughs> Sick. I bet you that's how it would go on a harness, but I just, I'm telling you, if you got 20 kilonewtons on your uh, body, <laughs> you got bigger problems. <laughs> oh, look, it's crunched. That's weird how it goes up and then down and then, uh, and then, I don't know why it goes back up. Is yeah, the sheath pulled on one side of the pipe. Oh, and, the sheath then, did it. And then the other side. That is really yellow. That is, I wonder if that's from dirt or if it's age. Check that out. That's where it was touching the carabiner. Well, that's a pretty similar result. That's full strength-ish. It does look like a secondary sheath because this is separate. I believe but Dyneema. The other one had it too. Oh, this, look how white that is. Interesting how that changes. All right, let's break Nick's. I think it's always going to break here, regardless of what kind of connections we have. Um, it's the pinch of this, I think, more than it is like a pinch in here. But this is less yellow than the other used one. Most arborists are going to be like, this not used at all. I'd use that forever. Oh. 
Oh, look. This is what happens when you don't open or lock your carabiners. A different result. Wow, that makes this video way more interesting. Well, okay, so all the other graphs went up and then da 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 da. So, what Nick said he did was to try to like make it more used is he ran it back and forth on a, I think an aluminum ring, which is why it has that dirty look to it as opposed the to that side. Aluminum impregnation makes it stronger. I don't know, Bobby. Might be a myth. Yeah, that did not have much life left in it. Neither does this one. So I know this was kind of a simple episode and I may not even pulled these correctly for you, but I do want to make more Arborist videos. I am going to go work with some Arborists in Seattle area and we're going to do some cool experiments. Wow. But I thought this was going to be a good start to the, the our Arborist series. Yeah, so right. let me know what you think about this, how you want to see tests done in the future and what else you want to see broken. Thanks for watching.